Hey everybody, this is Not a Spring Chick, and today for Cooking with Not a Spring Chick, we're going to be making lasagna in the microwave. Yes, lasagna in the microwave. I know, does that sound kind of funny? Anyway, we have the first thing up is ground beef because we're making a meat lasagna. That has to be busted up and cooked until there's no pink anymore. It, oh. it, how long it takes to cook depends upon the power of the microwave. And how much meat you put in there. Yeah, well, that's about, you know. And if it's frozen beforehand or thawed out thaw, and all of that. Which we had to do. So, so put it in for about a minute on high and then take it back out again. So, yeah, and you just keep doing that for a minute on high until it's ready. We could put this. Oh, I cannot believe this. I was sitting there looking at this, this is like pretty simple. And then they reminded me that I have a basil plant and I'm so used to just the little leaves that I forget about. Yeah. This is really potent. Yeah. It smells really good. That's what we need to do now is to get a bigger container than what we're using to cook the hamburger in because we're going to have to mix the spaghetti oh, sauce. Oh, spaghetti sauce with the hamburger? Yeah, okay, spaghetti so sauce. Okay, let's that. Um, You uh, dump your meat, your spaghetti sauce in. Okay. Yeah, and then just use the little wine stuff to clear out the spaghetti sauce container. Oh, we're using this. What is this? Chardonnay. Yeah. What do we have? Just a few ounces. What? Could, yeah. That's all I got. Just dump it all here. in. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and send it. So that's all we shall do. better to clean out your stuff with another ingredient than it is just to waste it. I know, because otherwise it all gets wasted anyway, so I'm just going to pour it in, right? Yeah, just dump that in there. And I'm it. going like this. Yeah. Now let's get your hamburger out and stir it again. Okay. Because you got to break it up and make certain it's not no pink in it. Let me put it in for another minute and a half. Yeah, we're breaking it up. Yeah, because it works best if it's in smaller pieces. Mm. And you can mm. wash the stuff up. I do love a good meat sauce. Yeah. And, uh, okay, uh, now chop the basil up and okay. put in there. I think I, yeah, I forgot to get the pepper up there, Did too. Did you clean it? Yeah, uh, well, yeah, just wash it down like that. Because so. we always need our fruit and yeah. vegetable wash. I know, but that's, that's all, really. Is this, is this. That's why I always check. I always check to make sure it's clean. Yeah. Boy, this is strong. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I always it, love a the strong fresh basil is better than dry basil. Yes, by fresh. far. There's you know, no we, comparison. Yeah, then we just chop it, cut. You know, take our little scissors and cut it up. I guess, and little pieces, big pieces. Are you putting it in there? Yeah, it all goes. Everything is going in there. Everything. Except for my hair. Yeah, well, the hair won't work, but nobody will notice. You ask mom. Nobody will notice that? No. Well, because it's going to be dark. <laughs> I know, it's your favorite time of year right now because all the Christmas lights. Yeah. Not Monty out. loves it since Monty's eye is returning. You know, my, I would really be happy if her eye totally got to the point where she could actually get away with showing again. Wouldn't that be magnificent? Well, she's in perfect shape right now. She's in now. really good shape. She's strong. She's uh, stacking just magnificently. And she's hair is all in, which is what we waited for like we waited five for years. And then she gets an injury to her eye. I know. All it has to do is look like it did before and she can show again. Yep. Let me just take her hamburger out and yes. check again. Oh. Oh, yeah. this looks good. 
Yeah, and it, it basically said to drain the liquid. I don't know how much liquid is left in there. I don't know, but I know Monty would like That's it. That's what I mean. We'll drain the liquid off for Monty. We'll just break it up some more and drain the liquid off. In fact, I'm going to go get her treat bowl for her. Yeah. Because that's what she would love. Well, because you don't waste this stuff. Never waste it. And then, if it's done, uh, dump it. Uh, that envelope. No, okay. And, oh, okay. Oh, she's really going to enjoy that. Well, there's still a little bit more juice. I could just let her. Then all I'm going to do is then just dump it in your container when you get done. Isn't that amazing? This is not rocket science what we're doing, folks. Somebody's going to be very happy. Okay. Okay, dump, so then we're going to put this in there. Yep. garlic in it, basically one, one spoonful, one little, I think, you know, whatever's on the back side of it. Whatever's on the back side of it. take the back this. side of your fork or something and just take that much bass out and out and put it in. See, look at that. Isn't that amazing how that works? Now that's all. Oh gosh, this is going to be so good. Okay, now we're going to put, um, put uh, put a piece of plastic wrap over the top of that. We're going to cook that. And we're going to cook this? We're going to cook that now. So you can use plastic wrap or you can use a plate. Yeah. You can use a serving plate. A plastic wrap works though because what happens is the plate doesn't sit as tight yeah. on here as the plastic wrap. I know. I'm basically we're trying to more or less just keep the heat in on this one because this was not going to just put it on um, put it in the microwave for two minutes, um, you know, put it on high, and just let it cook for two minutes. Now, see, this is not the most green project in the world. Now we're going to get another container to uh, combine the cottage cheese, par and, you know, egg and pepper. Actually, now, what are we doing? I need, a, I need some pepper from the cabinet. Okay. And a small... Pepper, pepper, pepper. It should okay. be up there. Anyone else? That's it. So we get a smaller container to put this stuff in. Should put what in? Well, no, because I got to sit there and put the cottage cheese. I need combined cottage cheese, egg, and pepper in another container. Oh. Okay. Actually, you want to just put Actually, it in. Actually, we'll use that, that one. Yeah, we'll just use that yeah, one. Yeah, because. And you're going, but it's not a clean container. Well, that's the yeah, point. It doesn't make any difference. Because part of it is, it's all going in the same dish. You can go ahead and flavor it. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Okay, what are we including? Cottage cheese and what Put else? Put all the cottage cheese in it. And then the pepper? And then the pepper. And um, then dump your cottage. We made our own cottage cheese, folks, as you might have noticed. That's not normal cottage cheese. Yeah, we didn't have any. So what Sorry. we did was we took the Parmesan cheese. Parmesan always goes to Italian, right? Yeah. And, and added, what did you add to this? Milk. Oh. So, it is, that's the way it works. It works. Yeah. Okay. And then we put, um... Pepper? Uh, just, just, uh, no, just uh, put, uh, shake the, uh, I, I need a quarter teaspoon of pepper, which basically means just take the lid open and use the back of a fork again. Take the lid off and then just use the back of the fork to take it out. Now put that in. That's all. That's done. Okay. And I'll put an egg in it, and just um, you know, crack an egg and crack just stir it, it all it. up. Isn't that something? Yeah. And we're rolling down to the finish. Get it out, and um, we're okay. This uh, take our our spray stuff we got for the bottom of our pan. You know, you know, we got we, we, you know, the, I think that the whatever we have, I think we got some really good cooking stuff up there. Uh, this, you, any of our cooking things. I know. Not I'm not. A, she's not as tall, which is funny. Sometimes she looks taller than I do. 
I didn't have flats on. I know. <laughs> That's okay, now just spray the, our big container. <laughs> now we must take uh, three noodles and lay them across the bottom. That's all. So we got a container of lasagna over there. I don't know how many of you are in it. There's six or something. You won't find out. I don't yeah. know. Oh, there's a lot. Okay. Then there's that. There's a lot. Okay. I mean, there's probably like 15 of them. Okay, take them and spread them across the bottom. I mean, you can, you can basically... Um, I can do a diagonal. Just, you know, no, just take and cut the piece off. And just cut the piece off. If it He's doesn't fit, use the scissors to cut it off. This is what happens. Because, see, we have another container that this would fit in, but what yeah. happens is... It won't turn into microwave. <laughs> and then just leave the stuff. I'm just going to leave it in okay, there. Okay, now do because two more. Because then it just needs more pasta in your dish. Yep. Oh. I just have to do it just a yep. little bit. And just put another one in. Yeah, yeah. Lasagna! Lasagna! Okay. Okay, now uh, let's see. Take half of our meat mixture and put on the bottom. Half of it? Half of it. Wow. Okay. I'm just going to use this. Yeah, isn't that neat? That is good. Okay. And then, you know, now take uh, take our cheese, you know, the cheese, the, the, our, that, and layer lay half of half of it across the bottom. This is awesome. What cheese? This is. Um, That's that. We didn't have modern. We didn't have Jack. modern Jack, but what we did have was Swiss. Now, let's uh, no now just take half of your. Your other our cottage cheese mixture and pour over the top. Isn't that neat? Now let's put uh, make another layer you know, on top now, of that. Am I crisscrossing it? No, it's the same direction, same direction. because it's lasagna. Okay, I'm just checking. I know you're being crazy anyway. You're quite amazing. Is everybody telling us that they're chickening out on a project we're doing? This means I go back to what I was originally doing. Always prepare, folks. Always be prepared. I was a Boy Scout. Um, no, people always ask me, they said, oh, you always prepared for... I'm like, yeah. Okay, now let's take what's left of our sauce and pour all over. Are we putting sauce on the very top? Are we doing another layer after this? Or is this you know, just, um, it says microwave, it says spread. Layer with three noodles, half the cottage cheese, layer with Oh, that's right, because we did half, so this yeah. is the final that's layer. That's the final layer. Just put the, okay. pour that all over the top. So this is very... Yep. There's lots of sauce for this one. Yep. Well, I said if you pour half the sauce in the Yeah, that's right, was, which is what I was figuring, because you didn't say one-third the sauce, but half of it. Half the sauce. So, so... Oh, gosh. And now we... We, um... Layer our, um, we, we put our uh, uh, cottage cheese mixture over the top again. And then we cheese. add the cheese on the top of that. Oh my gosh. I think I have enough to cover the whole thing. Yeah, I think we have more than enough. I think we're going to have extra. But no, it, it, it's not extra. It's, it's actually not enough, but... So, we get one extra. Yeah. Now, um, basically, uh, let's so cover. Put, I'll put this in the middle. Then, no, put it over it. Just put it over the top too. So now let's cover with plastic wrap. Do I have my? Oh, I threw the other one away. Okay. No, you have to use a clean one. That's a new clean because. Oh, that's a, a different dish too. Yeah. Now this is where the noodles are cooking. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then we're gonna cover it and 
put it in the microwave for uh, on high for 20 minutes or, uh, or until the noodles are tender or so. Because it's actually going to be cooking. Like I said, there we go. Oh my gosh. And then we'll sit there and come back in about 20 minutes. Isn't that something? Oh, I can hardly wait. Lasagna! Yes! Yeah. I really do like lasagna. Actually, I've never had homemade lasagna I've made. Well, I've had la homemade lasagna other people have made. Well, I mean, it's a first for us, so now we're pleased to get ready to do some other stuff. 20 minutes. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? 20 minutes in the microwave. Actually, I think that is less time than if you buy something frozen and it's already pre-made and you're just warming it up. I think it's like... 45 minutes or 50 minutes, you have to keep it in? Yeah, the prep time wasn't really as much as they said. It's because most of the prep time is done while you're cooking. While you're cooking and waiting. So yeah. what was it, like 10, 15 minutes at the, probably like yeah, 10 they, minutes. Yeah, they said prep time is back to be 15 minutes. That's time not counting cooking. And we did it while we were cooking, so. So anyway, I'm like, oh God. You got a half hour wrapped up in the lasagna. I know, total. Okay. So usually when you're making the lasagna, and it, and it's you buying it, it's like 45 to 50 minutes already bought, frozen. Yep. This is homemade lasagna yep. in the microwave. Well, we, we don't quite have a, uh, you know, a, a really, uh, we don't have a metal thing. We got a, a plastic. We have a plastic spoon. Which so, basically isn't so quite this is good. not going to spoon out and look quite as pretty as it could no, otherwise. No, otherwise it would look nicer, so. But I will tell you, it smells unbelievable. It smells just as good. This is meat lasagna. Yeah. With homemade cream cheese. Yeah. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, it should it be good. Like it really so smells good. good. Yeah, and, I'll, and if I just take a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Unbelievably good homemade lasagna. Okay, and this was in the microwave. Oh, this oh. Homemade, homemade meat lasagna. Oh, and I think there's still half of the the lasagna. Yeah, which too. means we can do something else with the lasagna for another lasagna dish. You know, and if I take longer, it's like. These guys are suffering over there because we're just sitting there watching me eat this. Yeah, because we also got to yeah. take the picture of a second dish. Yeah, you do, because I made a total mess of this one. Yeah. But this is absolutely wonderful. Homemade lasagna. Bon appetit. Enjoy.